Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that if t is a variable parameter, prove that x is equal to a into square root of 1 plus t square is whole over 1 minus t and y is equal to a into a root 2t this whole over 1 minus t lies on a fixed hyperbola. What is the value of the eccentricity of the hyperbola? Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is the standard form of the equation of hyperbola is given by x square over a square minus y square over b square is equal to 1. Now for the rectangular hyperbola lengths of the transverse and conjugate axis are equal that means 2a is equal to 2b so this means a is equal to b therefore the equation of the rectangular hyperbola by putting b is equal to a in this equation of hyperbola is x square minus y square is equal to a square. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now in the question it is given that if t is a variable parameter, we have to prove that the point x, y and here the values of x and y are given to us lies on a fixed hyperbola and also we have to find the value of the eccentricity of the hyperbola. So given x is equal to a into square root of 1 plus t square this whole upon 1 minus t and y is equal to a into square root of 2t this whole upon 1 minus t which further implies x over a is equal to square root of 1 plus t square all upon 1 minus t and y over a is equal to square root of 2t over 1 minus t. This further implies x square over a square is equal to 1 plus t square all upon 1 minus t whole square and y square over a square is equal to 2t over 1 minus t whole square. Now, x square over a square minus y square over a square is equal to, now putting the values, we have 1 plus t square whole upon 1 minus t whole square minus 2t over 1 minus t whole square which is further equal to 1 plus t square minus 2t whole upon 1 minus t whole square now in the numerator this is the formula of 1 minus t whole square so it will be 1 minus t whole square over 1 minus t whole square which is further equal to 1 therefore x square over a square minus y square over a square is equal to 1 implies x square minus y square is equal to a square. Now the equation of the rectangular hyperbola is x square minus y square is equal to a square. Now let us name it as equation number 1 and we can write that the equation 1 
represents the rectangular hyperbola for all values of t that is the variable parameter. Now for the given points x, y where the values of x and y were given to us we are obtaining the equation of the rectangular hyperbola hence the given point lies on a fixed hyperbola for all values of t. Now we know that the centricity of a given hyperbola, that is this hyperbola, is given by e square is equal to 1 plus p square over a square which further gives b square is equal to a square into e square minus 1 the whole and here the eccentricity is greater than 1. Now we have b square is equal to a square into e square minus 1 the whole but we have got a rectangular hyperbola in which a is equal to b therefore Putting b is equal to a in this equation, we get a square is equal to a square into e square minus 1 the whole. Which implies a square over a square is equal to e square minus 1. Which further gives 1 is equal to e square minus 1. And this implies e square is equal to 1 plus 1 which is 2. And which further gives e is equal to root 2. As e is greater than 1 for hyperbola, therefore e is equal to minus root 2 is not taken. Hence, the eccentricity e of the rectangular hyperbola is equal to root 2. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.